what's up youtube and welcome to this react tutorial so the topic today is how we can read write update and delete data uh, from firebase using react so let us begin let me open this uh, folder in visual code so uh, we will open a new terminal and create a new react project and dot means here So you can tell if the uh, installation was successful uh, when you see this happy hacking message. Uh, now we also have to install the Firebase. So npm install Firebase. So Firebase is also installed uh, and we don't see any errors. So it means that uh, it's correctly installed. Now let me run this app so now open your browser and search for firebase go to firebase console and you need to be logged in into your google account to use this add project and let's name it firebase react Continue, create project and continue and follow this step that you need to create the database first, create database, choose the location suitable for you, start in test mode. now click project overview and we need to create a web app so create a web app and name it anything you like react app register app now continue to console and uh, you can get the configuration from the project settings So the same configuration that was shown before. Now let us create a new folder components and inside the component firebase config and another folder in the component crud. So inside the firebase config a new file index.js and this will be a functional component having all of the firebase configuration so first two import statements are needed and this comes from firebase slash database now the rest of the configuration And this will go inside a component start firebase and return get database which will have the app as an argument and then export default the start firebase function. Now inside the CRUD folder a file index.js and import react import start firebase and we also need these functions from the firebase database so now our class component and the first thing which is the constructor props and the super props now this dot state will have some important properties so the first one is db and 
so this is gonna be the data that we will store in our firebase so inside the component did mount method I will update the state so set state and we will get the DB from start firebase function and then the render method so now I need uh, some labels and some inputs return with an ID of uh, user box and value will be this dot state dot username so uh, basically I'm binding the uh, value of uh, this dot state dot username to this input so whenever this dot state dot username changes it will update the uh, value of the input and it is a one way binding that works in react but we also have to uh, set the on change event otherwise this one way binding uh, will affect the input and uh, it will not let us change the input i will create an arrow function so e is the event object update this dot set state which will be username e dot target dot value and let me copy this four times Now we need four buttons on click and we will create a interface function later. So this dot interface. This will handle the fact that a uh, word button is created and what functions to execute. So the render method is complete. Now let us focus on some other methods. So the interface method will receive event constant id which will be equals to event dot target dot id and if the id is equal equals to insert button then run this dot insert data else if and let me comment them for now now let us make the insert data method and it is important to bind this interface method as it is used as an event so this dot interface equals to this dot interface dot bind this and before writing the insert method I will uh, create another method so I am creating a method get all inputs and uh, this will get me an object which will have a username this dot state dot username and then uh, what I'm gonna do is first I need a constant DB which I will get from the state and then another constant data which I will get from this function I can use the set function from the firebase database which takes a reference 
or re the reference function which takes two argument db and the address where we want to save the data so i want to create a folder customer slash and then data dot username then we need to pass an object so full name data dot name phone number so data dot phone and date of birth now let us run this component and i didn't export this class so it is necessary that i export the class i noticed that uh, i created the component folder uh, outside but it needs to be inside the src and now inside the uh, app.js so let me remove this content and we will return the thread imported from the current folder then components then crud and index which is the file now we can use our crud component save now let's run it let's come to the real time database let me check i think i know the error yes i wrote insert insert instead of add so the id was add button so this should be date of birth another thing that i want to add is the phone uh, should be in number now save and also let us add let us add some extra method and let us also uh, involve some error catching methods so then this is if the uh, data is added successfully so and then dot catch now save and let us try again add data data was added successfully you can see that there is uh, all the data the phone number is in the uh, number form now let us uh, write the update method so the update method works the same so we don't need to change much update function from the firebase data was updated successfully and that's it now let us also create the uh, delete method so the delete method is also easy we don't need an object for the delete method change this to remove and that's it and we can extract the username right from here and pass it directly to the method now let us also make the select data method and we need a db reference for this so the reference method this dot state dot db then the same username and we use a, a get function and inside that a child function which will take the db reference along with the address dot then and inside this then an arrow function which will take an argument snapshot 
So snapshot uh, is an object that carries all the data retrieved from the database uh, in the form of an object and much more info uh, inside it. So a snapshot, if the snapshot exists, so with an S, this dot set state and pass in the object, we need these properties. snapshot dot well which is a function to get a property from the uh, snapshot then uh, the names that we used for saving the data else no data found and we can also catch any error if it happens so now let us test our application. Uh, let's fix some CSS. So let us add a CSS file index.css and so, so this is the CSS that I wanted to add. Now I need to import it here. So and let me also check if, uh, if there is any unfinished business. So I also need to remove these comments and everything looks fine. Let me save this. Let's say that I want to update user123. Let me first get its data from the database. Now uh, I want to update the phone number. Update data. So it was updated successfully. And uh, now I want to delete the data. So it still says data updated successfully. So uh, a, lit a little syntax error over here. So this is all for the video. If you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.